main thing you need to watch out for when somebody comes in and does a double lapel grab is that they're going to pull you in and headbutt you right in the face. That's the most dangerous thing that can happen because a headbutt smashing into your face is going to break nose, cheek, teeth. It's very messy, very bad situation. So I'm much more worried about a headbutt than I am him coming in and trying to knee me. Okay? If he hits me with knees, yes, it's going to hurt, but not nearly as much as the headbutt. So the headbutt should be the first thing I'm concerned about when somebody grabs both of my lapels like this. So it should be a natural reaction that as soon as somebody grabs your lapels like this, elbow strike. Now, if he's not thinking about the headbutt right away, then this elbow strike will not make contact. But that's okay, because even if I don't hit him, if he was thinking about headbutt, I'm protecting my head. So the elbow strike, it could make contact or it may not. It doesn't matter. My main focus, the main reason I'm using this is for protection to prevent that headbutt from coming in. So that's the most important thing that I need to worry about. So as soon as he grabs lapels, <clears throat> okay, if the head's coming in, here, it's going to strike. So either way, it accomplishes what I need to accomplish to prevent getting headbutted. So all we're going to do to follow that up to make sure he doesn't begin using those knees is he grabs, and then I'm going to right hammer strike right back into the neck and side of the head. From there, I can simply wrap up around the head, and I've got a neck crank. From this side, grab, elbow, back hammer, wrap the head, and set my hadaka, or choke, or neck crank. One more time. 